In Oakland, we just had a fire kill dozens of friends, community members, and artists. This video is intended to provide a few basic steps to make your party safer. After viewing, please take the time to learn more and consult fire safety experts if possible. Five things to keep in mind when planning your party. Unobstructed exits, exit signs, fire extinguishers, smoke alarms, and flammable objects. Unobstructed exits. Not enough exits is the main way people die in a fire. Make sure each room has two ways out. Two ways. Rooms that only have one way out are simply not safe. Especially keep bars and dance floors out of them. And even if you have plenty of exits, don't overcrowd rooms. Keep the exits, pathways to exits, gateways and doors clear. Exit signs. Exit signs help people find the exits to your building when the room begins to fill with smoke. Buy the ones with internal batteries so that they can operate if the power goes out. Test them before the event by pushing the button. If they don't work, get new batteries. That's exit signs. Smoke alarms. These are especially important in places that are unoccupied or only have a few people in them, so they can alert you quickly. It's also important in areas where people might be sleeping. Buy the ones with 10-year batteries and be sure to test them before each event. They need to be installed in the highest point in the room to work. Next, fire extinguishers. Using a fire extinguisher is very simple. Pull the pin, pull out the hose, stand back, put the fire out. Aim at the base of the fire and spray side to side. Buy enough fire extinguishers, one for every large room. Place them in prominent locations and light them in case of an emergency. Before the event, check each fire extinguisher, pressure gauge, and the expiration date. And once a year, turn them upside down and tap them to mix them up. Flammable objects. Basically use fewer flammable objects and keep them far away from sources of heat. Candles with fabric nearby may look very beautiful but can be a real disaster. Alternatively, use LEDs. Don't hang fabric over lights, instead use colored lighting gels. Minimize the use of paper decorations, paper cups, and drapery. Use fabrics that are less flammable. No fires inside. Candles, smoking, and torches should be kept to outdoors only. A quick note about electrical safety. It's complicated. We recommend hiring an expert for your electrical setup. If you're attending a party, take note of the exits when you first arrive. If you see safety hazards, tell an organizer. You could be saving a life. When there's smoke, there's a human tendency not to leave immediately. So when you see smoke, immediately leave the area. Don't wait, just get the f out. What you do is you get down on the floor as low as possible and you do one of two things. Either crawl directly towards the exit, or if you can't see the exit, crawl towards a wall and follow it until you find a safe way out. You can spray a fire extinguisher at a fire to help you exit, but your main priority should be to get the f out. Once out, you can hold the door open and yell to help others find the exit. Have someone at your party be responsible for fire safety and safety. They should know where all the fire equipment is throughout the building. They should also, in the case of fire, help people evacuate. At least three days before the event, they should check the fire equipment to ensure it's working. That way, if it's not, you have ample time to replace it. To recap, unobstructed exits, exit signs, fire extinguishers, smoke alarms, flammable objects, and getting an expert to do your electrical work. Be sure to bookmark this video and share it so your friends can see it too. We hope you take these steps for your parties. Your guests will really appreciate the fact that you're looking after their safety. Have a good party.